Complainers, they're such a drag, always finding something wrong with everything. I mean, why can't they be more positive? It just makes life so much harder for the rest of us. Oh, wait, I was just complaining. My apologies. In this video, we'll talk about what's at the root of complaining and what you can do to turn that habit around. Complaining is so easy to do. We seem surrounded by it. The news is filled with it. There's always something that's gone wrong and someone to blame. <laughs> someone that's not me. And that's really what's at the root of complaining. Blame. There are those who blame themselves for anything bad that happens. They'll tell you how terrible they are, how they're not capable of much of anything. Their basic message is poor, poor, pitiful me. And it leaves them feeling powerless. And this is exhausting for everyone, the one blaming themselves, as well as those who have to listen to it. Then there are the people whose complaints center around blaming everyone and everything but themselves. You know, so-and-so should or shouldn't have done X, Y, or Z. I mean, it's their fault my life is filled with trouble. Or the government is to blame for this, that, or the other thing. They're just so out of touch. The energy that feeds the blame, that feeds complaining, really comes down to responsibility. Truth is, we all play a role in whatever is going on. Accepting responsibility for our part is the first step in turning complaining around. But that's not often the end of the story. Complaining is a habit that becomes stronger every time we do it. The momentum of complaining that builds up seems to make it harder and harder to stop. Pretty soon, all we can see is what's wrong with the world. Okay, okay, enough complaining about complaining. What do we do about it? As I mentioned, the first thing is to take responsibility for your part. Taking responsibility gives you back your power. The second thing is still related to responsibility, but this time it's to take responsibility for your perspective how you look at things. You know, if you choose to look for the negative, you'll be sure to find it. If you choose, however, to look for positive things, you'll be sure to find those too. The choice is yours. Wait, you mean I should just take a Pollyannish approach to everything and pretend it's all just peachy? No. Acknowledging that things are as they are is a good place to start, preferably without a lot of judgment. See a previous video about that. But what you choose to look for will determine what you see, period. Now, this is a topic bigger than what I can cover in this video. There's a whole chapter in my book, Thoughts on Demand, about it. If you want to learn more, just see the link below. But let me repeat this. What you choose to look for will determine what you see. When there's been a lot of complaining, it's built up quite a head of steam and will likely take a little time to slow the momentum of the negativity before you can really get the momentum of the positivity going. But that's the trick. Slow the momentum of the negativity by choosing to look for positive aspects. At first, you'll probably need to find very general positive aspects. Things like, this too shall pass. Things always work out in the end. This is just one step in a longer journey. The more general you are about the positive, the easier it is to slow the momentum of the negative. Just keep at it. You'll be surprised at how many positive things you'll begin to see and how much of what you've been complaining about seems to vanish from your experience. Now, if this resonates with you, give this video a thumbs up and tell me in the comments below what you hate about complaining. Till next time, I wish you abundance and joy.